Before we get started with today's video, I want to send a special shout out to Vasilius Pope and Samuel Randall. These two gentlemen have become supporters over on my Patreon. It's one of those things that's not necessary, but it is just a great way to show support. Not only do you get early access to all my content, but you also get some exclusive discounts on my merch. So big thank you to Vasilius Pope and Samuel Randall. Now, without further ado, let's get into bad blood. And now, Raw presents WWE. Bad blood. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Raw exclusive. Welcome to WWE Bad Blood. We have one hell of a show for you here tonight. We are going to be kicking off with a massive championship match. But first, we're going to start the show with an announcement from the Raw general manager. As I said, this is Bad Blood. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are excited for Raw to get bad, are you excited for some bloodshed? Make sure you show your support on this video by leaving that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on whatever new episode drops over here on the main channel. As the general manager, Sheriff Austin, is going to kick off Bad Blood. As I said, we have a massive massive first matchup I won't spoil the surprise but first Stone Cold Steve Austin has got a surprise for the WWE Universe I hope you all are excited as I am for Bad Blood we got some great matches here tonight it is set to be an absolute Slobber knocker. But first, let's start with Sheriff Austin. Let's see what the general manager has to say. Of course, these fans love and Stone Cold Steve Austin as per usual. As always, there's nobody that can get these fans riled up like general manager Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, these fans, these fans seem to want to, they want to see another match between The Rock and Austin.
Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. You saw it first right here at Bad Blood. The King of the Rain returns. Stone Cold Steve Austin says the rest of my participants will be revealed on next episode of Raw, but first, we're going to welcome the newest member of the Raw roster and first entrant. Oh my goodness. We thought it might be after a strong showing against Shawn Michaels on Raw, it could be no other than the new big thing. The almighty Bobby Lashley is officially a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. Sheriff Austin has taken a chance on this rookie after seeing what he was able to do to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania and also seeing what he could do against Shawn Michaels just a few weeks ago. Of course, Bobby Lashley is flanked by his advocate Paul Heyman who was just a couple weeks ago kidnapped by Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, of course, has been suspended, and look at that, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's gonna give Bobby Lashley and Paul Heyman the ring. Wow, what a way to kick off bad blood, ladies and gentlemen. The newest member of Monday Night Raw has been officially revealed. We thought they might sign, but now it is official, and let's see what Paul Heyman has to say. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what an announcement. Bobby Lashley will be your first participant in the returning King of the Rain tournament. Who else will be joining him in that tournament? Eight superstars from both brands. What a spectacle that's going to be. And the backstage area is filling up as we get set for what is going to be one of the best pay-per-views in Universe Mode history, Bad Blood is coming your way in a matter of moments ladies and gentlemen coming up next to kick off the show the world heavyweight championship is on the line let's take it to WrestlePuss. to kick off bad blood you can only do it in one way and that is the best way and that is for the world heavyweight championship CM Punk looking to reclaim the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold, the most prestigious title here in the WWE. And CM Punk looks to embark on that mission here tonight. He only held the gold for but so long, and he wants it 
back. And tonight he has the opportunity to get the championship back from the rated R superstar himself, known as Edge. Last episode of Universe Mode, we've seen CM Punk chilling backstage, and we've seen Edge out of nowhere attack him and put him through the car door. Out of nowhere, things just automatically intensifying for this rivalry. These two men had an understanding. Punk understood why he cashed the money to bank. Listen, you win that ladder match, you get the cash in anytime, any place. The understanding was there. The rivalry was, yes, it was set in place, but Punk didn't really, you know, there was no beef, there was no true bad blood, and that was when Edge, Edge decided to make this rivalry that much more personal. I mean, when you think about Edge, when you think about what Edge has been doing here in Universe Mode, he has been making everything personal, not just with CM Punk, but with Christian, him and Christian having a back and forth rivalry for the money in the bank at some point. And, you know, with Edge retaining his money to bank briefcase at, at Backlash, now finding himself in this position, now finding himself World Heavyweight Champion, you know, it's been riding high here for Edge, but at the same time, CM Punk, he was at the mountaintop. He's seen the glory, winning the Royal Rumble at the number second spot, beating Triple H at Mania. I mean, you didn't just pin him, you made the man tap out. You finally had everything in the palm of your hands. And then this guy right here, the slickest man in the game, the dirtiest man in the game, Edge. He just walked in, and he just grabbed the championship like it was nothing. And that is where we get this match up here tonight. The rematch was inevitable, but what Edge did last episode of Universe Mode, putting CM Punk through that car door, was it really necessary? I definitely don't think so. But Edge tonight looks to, to do the job. Edge tonight looks to prove that his championship reign isn't going to be just another, you know, it isn't just going to be a quick one. Is it going to be a transitional one? Edge looks to get the job done here tonight against CM Punk and what a matchup this is going to be. When you take away what these two men have done here in Universe Mode, when you take away what these two men have done in their professional wrestling careers, when you just look at it on paper, CM Punk versus Edge, this one right here is going to be one hell of a matchup and it is all for the world heavyweight championship if you ask me a great way to kick off bad blood here tonight ladies and gentlemen and you gotta think is the numbers game going to be a factor in this matchup with Lita on the outside it's been a factor in the past big question is will it be a factor in this one here tonight as the referee raises the championship up high we can only get ready for what could be a great matchup. And OCM Punk flying off already with the flying knee there. Nicely done there by Punk Punk with those high kicks and high strikes. And you know the intensity is definitely there by Punk. Punk wants to get all the revenge he can get here on edge. And you, I can't blame him, eh? I mean, these two men had an understanding. They had a championship match. It was, it was signed on the dotted line. Both men knew what they were going to be getting themselves into going into this pay-per-view. And, you know, Edge, just to send a message, just to, to prove that he's the... You know, he's the top guy around here, did what he did, and now Punk through the ropes, nicely done there by CM Punk. Punk going right through the ropes, going back into the ring, not letting the referee get a chance to counter, and as he goes off one more time, he does. Firing off on all cylinders here tonight on edge, and wait a minute, he's thinking about going for a third one, and the referee, don't even waste your time. Edge bouncing right off the barricade, absolutely beautiful work here by CM Punk. This is definitely awesome, and wait a minute, CM Punk giving the crowd their money, their, excuse me, their money was worth here tonight, and now Punk looking to go to the top rope, Edge doesn't know where he's at or what he's doing, Edge now, oh, falls down, man, nothing Edge can do, nowhere he can go, first pinfall of the matchup here tonight, is CM Punk going to get it done early? No, when he doesn't. Right when you think Punk, and oh man, I mentioned it earlier tonight, would the numbers game play a factor in this matchup when it came down to Lita? And you see it did, Edge gets the roll of those. This one's going to be it here, early here, early matchup done here. Is it going to be over? And wait a minute, no, Punk, Punk turning the tides. Punk turning the tides on Edge. This could be it right here, quick matchup, and no. Edge getting the kick out. I don't know how he did it. I don't know how Punk did it. Punk getting that step up kick there. And Punk is feeling the momentum on the outside. Edge goes, and Punk has been using, oh, the outsides was advantage in this matchup, and now Punk showing out to the crowd, and the crowd is desperate for CM Punk, and you can't blame him, and oh my god, bringing Edge right into the barricade, and now, oh man, just the face getting plastered right across that barricade, you gotta think, Edge didn't think 
Didn't think he was going to uh, walk into a matchup like this with CM Punk. I mean, if I'm Edge, I'm thinking maybe that car shot did a little bit of damage to CM Punk going into this matchup, making CM Punk not at 100%. But CM Punk is proving everybody wrong here tonight and showing that the momentum is all on his side going into the cover. Is this going to be it? No. Somehow, some way, Edge. Edge kicks out. We call him the Rated R Superstar for a reason. He is the man with the numbers game behind him. But CM Punk is looking to get the job done here tonight. CM Punk is looking to be the benefactor here tonight. Looking to be the guy who can make the upset of upsets happen. Be the guy who makes Edge's run a transitional run here in universe mode. And oh man, Edge. Edge gets taken down. And I keep mentioning it. And Lita does it. Lita keeps getting in the way of this matchup. Mind you, ladies and gentlemen, yes, this is a kickoff match. This is a championship match of the caliber of this matchup. And, oh, man, CM Punk wants her in. Punk is saying, hey, you either get in or you get the hell out of here. And now Lita, Lita choosing very wisely getting out of here. And now Punk can focus back on the matchup, focusing his attention on Edge. And, oh, man, Edge with a big neck breaker. Edge catching CM Punk perfectly. Nicely done there by Edge with a calf kick. And now, man, CM Punk trying to get back up to his feet, but Edge just has a fury of strikes. Edge getting any bit of momentum on his side as he can, any bit of offense that he can. He's getting it, bouncing off of the ropes, and big drop kick into the corner there by Edge. Nicely done there by Edge, using that little bit of time while Lita was on the ropes, distracting CM Punk to, to get his momentum going for him, to, to you know, get his energy back, and now, now he finds himself on the opposition in this matchup. Now he finds himself playing a little bit of offense instead of defense. And that's something a little different than we've seen here in this matchup. And now CM Punk getting brought up and what looks to be brought right back down. They don't call him the Rated R Superstar for no reason. Into the cover and this is it. No. Punk fighting back. He's showing exactly why. Exactly why the World's Heavyweight Championship is so prestigious, not just to him, but to everybody here in the WWE. Punk's fight is everybody's fight. And Edge just sitting him down, not playing any games with him here tonight. Doesn't give a damn about his momentum, the locker room's momentum, the WWE Universe's momentum. He is here to do one thing and one thing only, and that is put CM Punk in the dirt. That is put the, the, the stigma of Punk just out of here. He wants nothing to do with Punk. It's, if his goal here tonight was to put Punk out and put him out for good, I'm pretty sure he can do it. And that's not because there's anything personal going on between these two men. That's just because of how dangerous Edge is. Once he gets you in his grasp, his mindset, he will do anything to not only win the matchup, but to make sure he comes out on top. And even if that means using Lita to his advantage, he'll definitely do it. And now bringing CM Punk back into the ring, Edge looks to, to do a little bit of more damage here. So Punk, Punk doesn't know where he's at or what he's doing. A big axe handle there. If I'm the referee, I'm getting out of the way, and I'm going down for the pin as Edge goes for the pin on CM Punk here. Is this one going to be it here tonight? And it go. Oh, my goodness, right when you think it's over, Punk just hits you with that shoulder up. And if I'd like to say anything, that right there was a 2.9. Punk is keeping everybody at the edge of his seat, or at the edge of everybody's seat here tonight, excuse me. And now Edge bringing up Punk. Punk doesn't know where he's at, and Edge now with a big neck breaker. And we talked about how the offense was was very much so on Punk's side in the beginning of the matchup. And now it's on Edge's side. Edge is being the, the, the offense player in this matchup. And now Punk looking to make me eat my words. Punk with a big slap, big punch, big furious strikes here by CM Punk. Looking to gain some momentum back in this matchup. And he does. He does. Big kicks by Punk. Big kicks by Punk. Goal man kicks him down. This might be the opening that CM Punk needed in this matchup to win back that World Heavyweight Championship. Jumps down Edge now. Edge now goes for a punch. Punk with a big kick. Big kick by Punk. Punk now dragging Edge to the middle of the ring. Seeing his destiny. Understanding what he needs to do. Top rope goes Punk. Punk at the top. Raising the hands up high. Oh! Goes for the elbow, but Edge moves. Edge moves, and now Edge is feeling the momentum. Moves Punk, drops him where he stands, and now Edge drops Punk again. Punk seen a pocket of momentum, a pocket to breathe in, but it was nothing compared to what Edge has in store for him right now. Edge now, 
Edge now. Zoho goes for something big, but Punk fighting back. We talked about that fight that Punk has. It just comes out of nowhere, and we're seeing it here tonight. Big oh! Power driver drops him down on the mad head spiking. And wait a minute, the referee's saying no. Wait a minute, the referee. I'm assuming Edge, Edge's shoulders was up. I'm not sure what that was. But the referee basically telling him, listen, Edge's shoulders are up and oh, Punk drops down. And Punk saying, hey, listen, the shoulders are up. That is no problem with me. The momentum is on my side and I know what I need to do. And now Edge getting brought into the corner. We talked about the balance of this matchup, how back and forth it's been. On one side, it's Edge. On one side, it's Punk. This side, it's Punk. Punk now. Wait a minute. Edge catches him. Power bomb. Big power bomb by Edge into the cover to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Is he going to do it? No. Punk fights. Punk fights. We talked about momentum. We talked about that hill. You have to climb to be the best of the best. And Punk is showing just how much of the best he can be here tonight. Listen, we've seen Lita get involved. We've seen Edge deploy tactic measures to get to this championship matchup. But what these two men are doing here tonight is pure wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. And as CM Punk tries to collect himself, he just can't do it. And Edge just talking some smack, telling him, listen, this right here is my moment. This right here is my championship matchup and the referee telling him listen back up a little bit back up a little bit things things need to breathe a little bit in the matchup and I don't blame the referee oh man and you know we talk about how great this championship matchup has been this is only the opening contest for the pay-per-view here tonight we have one hell of a lineup for you here tonight and wait a minute Edge once again drops him flat on his face nowhere Punk can go into the cover this is it this is it. I mean, if I'm punk, there's nothing left in the tank. And no. What the hell? We, we, we said it. We talked about the momentum, the fight. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't think you can fight out of this one. I don't think you can fight out of this one. Wait, punk catches him. Punk catches him. GTS. But no. Edge fighting out of it. Edge fighting out of it. And now Edge drops him into the cover. This is it. This is it, Punk doesn't know where he's at, but no. Edge went for the spear, Punk tried to catch him into the GTS, but Edge said no, Edge had something for CM Punk. Now Punk goes into the corner not knowing where he's at or what's going on in this matchup. And now Edge, if I'm thinking of Edge, if I'm thinking of the maneuvers that Edge goes for, he's going for something, something to pop the crowd, looking for the big wow factor in this matchup. And no, no, Punk makes me eat my words. Punk at the top, Edge doesn't know where he's at, and Edge, oh! Edge goes down, the elbow hits him. CM Punk riding a wave of momentum here tonight. The crowd is absolutely here for it. Punk drops him. Big power slam by Punk. I may seem a little hype, ladies and gentlemen, but it's all for good reason. What these men are doing in this matchup here tonight is one to speak about for the ages two and no. Somehow, some way, somehow, some way, I don't know how, but somehow, some way, Punk is finding momentum and he's counting for that big kick, but no edge moves, edge moves. Edge is not allowing anything Punk is trying to throw. Same with Punk. Every time Edge tried to throw something, Punk has something for it. But Edge looks to drop him down. Big time. It's over. No. Punk and Edge are keeping me at the edge of my seat. And we've seen Edge on the earlier go on the outside. And we've seen Punk had a fury of offense for him when it came down to aerial attacks. But Edge now taking the fight to CM Punk, taking the ground and pound. Oh my God, the CM Punk driving of stomach first right into the steps. You gotta think. You gotta think right there, that's gonna play a big factor in the matchup. All we've really seen is these two men throw maneuvers back and forth at each other. We haven't really seen anything else come into play as far as weapons, as far as announce tables. And oh, CM Punk going face first off of that announce table. Punk not knowing where he's at. Edge sees that Punk is a little confused, sees that Punk doesn't know where he's at. And he's looking to use this as momentum. Edge looking to use this right here to his momentum to put him away and at least hit something big. And Edge now calls him up and missile drop kick from the top row. 
This man right here is, is when you talk about wow factor, when you talk about matches of the night, you got to think of the kickoff because this right here is one to be edge now. Big DDT. It's over. It's over. Two and no. What? What? Oh, my God. I don't know how he's doing it. I don't know how he's doing it or where he's finding it, but he's finding something. And Punk just keeps fighting. He just keeps kicking out of everything and Edge is yelling at him, what do you want to do? What, what do we do at this point? And CM Punk looks to have an answer for what Edge just asked him. And Punk now bringing him to the outside. And oh man, if I know Punk, if I know Punk, he's not gonna just take that one. He's gonna go for something real big here and through the ropes. Set it down, Edge. Edge getting up to his feet as Punk picks him up, brings him back into the ring. Punk understanding this is desperation time for the Punkster. Punk to the top rope now. This is it. This is it. Punk now. Big elbow drop. Gets him. Into the cover. One, two, no. How the hell is Edge doing this, ladies and gentlemen? And oh man, the camera focusing in on Lita. Lita looking concerned for Edge. And oh man, no, no, no. I think a little too concerned for Edge. A little too concerned for Edge. Lita getting involved for the third time in this matchup. We keep talking about. CM Punk, we keep talking about the good fight these two men keep having. And wait a minute, CM Punk, CM Punk not allowing what Lita was doing to get on the way. And oh, Lita gets knocked down. Lita's knocked down too. Edge and Lita knocked down. Couples united. And here we go. This is what we've been wanting to see all night. We've been wanting to see Lita knocked down. Edge knocked down. And the numbers game completely even for these two men. Punk now brings him up to his feet. What is Punk have in mind for the Rated R Superstar here tonight? Because it's looking like it's going to be all Punk for the closing. And wait a minute. Picks him up. It's looking like GTS and no. Oh, man. Punk's back giving out on him in this big match. And the spear looks to be the nail in the coffin. Is this it? No. Holy shit. How the hell? How the hell does Punk keep doing this? Everything that Edge has, Punk just has something else for him. And no, goes for another spear. But see how Punk says no. Punk has something else for him. And oh man, here we go. Punk now, big GTS, and oh, oh my god, Edge goes out of the ring, Punk was so tired, Edge was so tired, the ring awareness just wasn't there for either men, so that right there, that right there, Punk, it was an upside for Punk, but at the same time, not the upside Punk needed in this matchup here tonight, but a great ring awareness by Edge, rolling himself out of the ring, just dumping himself to the outside, giving him a little bit of time to breathe before Punk can go and hit him with something else. And Punk now looking to set up the beginning of the end, going into the cover. This one could be it here tonight. And, oh my God. At some point, the referee's got to kick her out. At some point, the referee has got to put the nail in the coffin and say enough is enough because Punk should have won two times over at this point. Punk keeps fighting. Edge keeps fighting. But Punk deserves the big win. And now Lita. Lita's confronted with a very angry CM Punk here tonight. And I don't blame him because this right here isn't just a regular matchup on Raw. This is for the World Heavyweight Championship here at Bad Blood. And Punk wants absolutely none of what Lita has to offer here tonight. He wants her out. I want her out. The entire WWE Universe wants Lita out. And we... We hopefully are going to get what we wanted, but CM Punk may be scared off Lita. And hey, Edge! Edge catches Punk with a big old spear! Oh man, Lita was just playing possum. She was just playing scared for the moment. That right there was to lure CM Punk in. And that right there was to make Edge retain the World Heavyweight Championship. And no! No! Oh my god! Right when you think, right when you think 
Edge has something right where you think Edge is going to finally put the nail in the coffin. Punk just keeps having something. And now Edge, now Edge wants to really put the nail in the coffin. Now Edge really wants to put the nail in the coffin the same way CM Punk beat Triple H at WrestleMania, making the man tap out. Punk looks to, oh man, no. Edge looked to do with the Punk, but Punk was not going for the mind games, not going for anything Edge had to offer. Edge looking to go for something. Punk catching him. And oh man, that Endicott device is locked in, and it's locked in damn good. But Lita once again getting involved. Lita getting involved once again, and the referee. Oh, let's go. Thank you. The ref wants none of it. Telling Lita to get down. Edge taps. Oh my god. Oh my god. Edge just tapped. Edge just tapped. Sam Punk should be champion three times over now, but Lita keeps getting into the way. Lita keeps doing what Edge wants her to do, and right there, Edge is looking like he wants it. Punk, turn around, please. Punk, Lita did exactly what she was meant to do here, here tonight, and Edge now lining him up for the spear. Punk moving out of the way, though. Punk moving out of the way. Great agility by Punk. Punk, no. Punk, don't say it. Absolutely no. Having none of the spear, and now, wait a minute, bouncing off of the ropes, but getting caught. Big spear by Edge, the rated R superstar, looks to cement his world championship reign, and he does it to kick off bad blood here tonight. What a championship match to open up bad blood, ladies and gentlemen. What a matchup for the ages. These two men just put on a matchup of matchups. And these two men tore the absolute house down. It's going to be very, very hard to follow up after this one because these two men left it all in the ring, not just for the world title, not just for bad blood, but for wrestling. And Edge, Edge, right when you think he's doing it just for the wrestling, he just takes that extra step. We see one chair in the ring already. Oh, my God, Edge. Edge, come on. You won the matchup. Lita helped you time and time again. What else do you want? Wait a minute, Edge. Edge, oh my God. Come on, Edge. You won the matchup. What else could you want? I mean, are you satisfied? You beat him. You beat him at all. Concerto by Edge. Edge putting Punk on the mat. And we don't know what's going to happen, but still, your World Heavyweight Champion, the Rated R Superstar himself, Edge, what a matchup. And overall, it doesn't matter how the matchup goes at the end of the day, this man is still champion. Introducing Level Up Mugs, the ultimate destination for gamers and coffee lovers alike. At Level Up Mugs, we're all about bringing your favorite gaming designs to life on our high quality mugs. And to ensure the best quality, we've partnered with Printful, a leading print on demand company. Printful uses state of the art printing technology and premium materials to create your personalized mugs. Once your order is ready, Printful carefully packs and ships your mugs with love and care. Within days, your Level Up Mug package will arrive at your doorstep ready to level up your coffee game. With our wide range of de and designs and customizable options, you can find the perfect mug for yourself or as a gift. So why settle for ordinary mugs when you can level up your coffee experience with Level Up Mugs? Join the Level Up Mugs community today and unleash your inner game with every sip. Level Up Mugs, stay caffeinated, Stay gaming. A big shout out to Level Up Mugs for allowing me the privilege of being a part of their brand. Feel free to check them out on Etsy. Your boy's got his own coffee mug. Put your coffee in it, your tea in it, your soda in it, whatever you want, put it in it. Check them out on Etsy, but ladies and gentlemen, we have to take a step back. Big thank you to Russell Plus for commentating. Our first matchup here tonight of Bad Blood. I surely do hope that CM Punk is okay. He is being evaluated by medical staff as we speak. But as you all know, with a pay-per-view like this, there is no time to waste as we're going right in to the next matchup. The European Championship is on the line 
as the former champion awaits his opponent. Dustin Rhodes was on top of the mountain at WrestleMania 20 when he captured the European Championship from Chris Jericho, who is now fired. And at Backlash, Dustin Rhodes also retained the title against Booker T. Booker T, of course, drafted to Friday Night SmackDown. And Dustin Rhodes says it's time for a new chapter over here on Monday Night Raw. It's time for a new chapter on the path for Dustin Rhodes. Said he was going to issue an open challenge and the returning William Regal stepped up right on the spot and said, I'll accept your challenge next week on Raw. And it was set to be a good match and it was a good match until William Regal had to cheat to capture the European title. And tonight, Dustin Rhodes gets his rematch. European Championship on the line. Dustin Rhodes, he told William Regal, I don't expect you to play by my rules. I expect you to play by the rules of a championship matchup. We'll have to see if that's going to be the case. There's a bell. This matchup is underway. And William Regal taking it right to the outside of the ring. What is he doing? William Regal looking to waste time here. I hope he is not hourly. William Regal just pandering to the fans. It looks like he'd be willing to take a, a count out loss because as you know, he's got a championship advantage. If he wins by disqualification or a count out, he still retains the title. Referee's at a count of five. He is still taunting Dustin Rhodes from the apron. Dustin's getting sick of it. Dustin wants a piece of him. And William Regal taking advantage. Just like that, Dustin Rhodes took his eye off the ball for one second and it just cost him there. William Regal, you can't expect him to ever play by the rules. There's a reason why he's been successful in the WWE. It was not by playing by the rules, I can tell you that much. As William Regal, double underhook suplex takes him down. Dustin Rhodes is in trouble here in the early going. William Regal sends him off the ropes, looking for the drop toll hold. Dustin Rhodes stopped himself dead in his tracks. Kick to the gut, drop to the knee, big uppercut by Dustin Rhodes, fire him back. Dustin Rhodes not looking to waste any time here, picks him up and drops him on the knee. Targeting the leg of William Regal, looking to just pick him apart here in the early going. As you guys know, these two, they've done battle once already for that European Championship, so they have to know each other very well. But what Dustin Rhodes needs to look out for is those underhanded tactics as own elbow by Regal and a shoulder block takes Dustin Rhodes down. And where the hell is Regal going down? Regal getting out of the ring once again. And William Regal is saying, that's it. That's it, count me out. I don't care. What the hell, Dustin Rhodes not going, not going to let that hit. Oh. Stumbled on my words there. But Dustin Rhodes was going to try to stop William Regal for taking a count out loss. But William Regal suckered him in and he caught him with a sucker punch. He drops him face first on the steel steps and referees had a count of three. He's Dustin Rhodes, he's in, he's in trouble here. He's not He's not thinking clearly. Oh my God, and now, now William Regal's raking the eyes. He's raking the eyes. The referee's not seeing it. Come on. Referee needs to open his eyes as William Regal takes him down once again. Dustin, he's in trouble here. Oh, his dreams of capturing the European Championship. They, they may have abruptly ended, and it might stay that way, but Dustin Rhodes, you know Dustin, he comes from a, a great lineage. He's not gonna quit. He's not gonna give up. The son of the great Dusty Rhodes. Neckbreaker. Down goes Regal. Dustin is back in the driver's seat. But can he stay in the driver's seat? As he drops the knee into the head of William Regal. What's he looking for here? Sent him into the turnbuckle. Dustin Rhodes. What's he looking for? Oh, bounces him face first off that turnbuckle. Good thing there's padding there. And now Dustin picks him up on the top rope, on the top turnbuckle. What is Dustin looking for here? 
Dustin looking to go crazy with a falcon arrow from the top rope. You have got to be kidding me. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Does that do it to recapture the European title? No, a kick out at two. And I agree with these fans. This match, just like that, has been turned up five notches. It has officially crossed over the threshold of being awesome. Dustin sends him into the corner once again. What's he looking for here? Sends him to the other corner. Dustin Rhodes full head. A steam massive uppercut there. Sends him out. And a nice neck breaker to follow it up. What a maneuver there by Dustin Rhodes. A nice combination there. Into the cover. Hooks the leg to recapture the European title. Can he do it? No, he doesn't do it. It's not enough yet. Not enough yet, ladies and gentlemen. What a what a night we've had thus far. Edge retaining the world title. Oh, wait a minute. William Regal caught the legs. William Regal sends him off the ropes. What's he looking for here? Drop toe hold. This time, Dustin couldn't stop himself. William Regal taking advantage of the fact that Dustin just went face first into the canvas. Look at this. Look at William Regal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Stretching him out. And look at, look at Dustin's body. Folded up like an accordion. You are not supposed to bend that way, Dustin. Dustin is in massive trouble here. He may, he may tap out. Oh, but no, Dustin. Dustin's not gonna quit. He's come too far to fall this short. And here comes Dustin Rhodes. Two clotheslines there. Looking to follow it up, but no, Willow Regal belly to belly suplex. And Regal, kitchen sink. The kitchen sank that running knee by William Regal into the cover to retain the European title. He took advantage of the situation, but no, a kick out at two by Dustin. He stays in the fight. What a matchup thus far. William Regal could have been looking for the Regal Plex there or possibly the Regal stretch, but Dustin Rhodes reversed it. Dustin sends him off the ropes, drops underneath, leapfrog over the top. Dustin Rhodes, you know what's coming next? Power slam by Dustin Rhodes into the cover. Picture perfect power slam, hooks the leg. One, two, he's got it. No, he doesn't, a kick out of two. Back and forth action for the European Championship and these fans are showing their appreciation. I'm appreciating this match as well. Two very talented superstars. Dustin Rhodes says, come on, let's do this. We're gonna put you down, but no, Dust Dustin got caught Lenovo. He wasted too much time. William Regal, what's he looking for here? Straight jacket neck breaker. The straight jacket neck breaker. That's, that could do it. Into the cover. Hooks the leg to retain the title. No. It is not enough. But William Regal, it looks like he knows what could be enough. Could be looking for that Regal Plex. The move that won him the European title. But Dustin, Dustin fighting back. Dustin fighting out of the situation. Sends a fly to the outside of the ring. And Dustin now following him to the outside. Massive right hand there. Turns him inside out. Dustin Rhodes. Wait a minute. Dustin. Dustin. Picks him up. Curtain call. The curtain call. Out to William Regal. This match is over. Roll him in the ring, Dustin. Get him in the ring. This is your opportunity to recapture the European title. The title that you never should have lost. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. That's it. That's it. No, it's not it. William Regal kicked out again, and Dustin can't believe it. Dustin can't believe it, and neither can I. William Regal just barely, just barely kicking out of the curtain call. Dustin Rhodes could be looking for the final nail in the coffin, could be looking for the crossroads, but no. William Regal caught the leg, turns him around. Regal, Regal, hooks him up. Regal Plex, Regal Plex, one, two. He retains, no, he didn't retain. Dustin kicked out. William Regal, he can't believe it. These fans can't believe it. I can't believe it. And what the hell is on his mind now? William Regal doesn't know what to do. Oh, come on. Come on, not this again. He took off that turnbuckle pad for a second time in a row. The ref has got to know that he's got something up his sleeve. But the referee's got no choice. He's got to put that turnbuckle pad back on. 
and Regal is stalking Dustin Rhodes as the referee puts that turnbuckle pad on. What does he have up his sleeve? I don't think Regal realizes that he put the turnbuckle pad back on. Dustin, oh, Dustin, Dustin reversed the clothesline and it just sent Regal in to the referee in the corner. But Dustin doesn't see it. Dustin doesn't see it. Dustin, though, hooks him up. Crossroads, crossroads. One, two, three, four, five. The referee is down and Dustin doesn't see it. But now, but now he does. Dustin realizes how much trouble he is in now. The referee is down. This match is over. Dustin should have won it. Dustin should have won it, but he's going to look to keep the pressure on. But no, a right hand by Regal. Regal with a right hand and a left hand. What, what the hell? Regal, he had the brass knuckles. Regal pulled out the brass knucks. You have got to be kidding me. William Regal. He pulled out the brass knuckles. And now, and now, Regal is gonna take advantage of the situation again. Regal Plex, not like this. Not like this. Damn it. William Regal retains because of an underhanded tactic again, as you see there in the replay. Referee was inadvertently knocked down. Dustin Rhodes had the match won. I counted to seven. And look at Regal here, look at this. Right hand, and you can see the brass knucks right there. You can see him. You can see him right there. He used the brass knucks to, win, to, to retain the title. You have got to be kidding me. William Regal retains the European Championship once again but it was not in a fair way. Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I have an update on your former World Heavyweight Champion, CM Punk. CM Punk was rushed to a medical facility. He is badly injured, su suffering from a concussion a severe laceration to his forehead as a result of this move that you're about to see here. Edge hitting an execution on a steel chair. Busting CM Punk open, but that wasn't enough for Edge. Edge would you hit a concerto on CM Punk. There was no reason for this underhanded assault, but just a few moments ago, an interviewer caught up with Edge to find out what his reasoning was. And this is what he had to say.
Those strong words from the World Heavyweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Edge, sending a massive message right here tonight at Bad Blood. But like I said earlier, with a show like this, you can't afford to waste any time as we're getting right into our next match as Big Papa Pump makes his way to the ring. This is a match that he asked for. If you recall back to the Raw is War episode when the one night that Raw went old school, Scott Steiner, after a convincing win over Rhino, the man beast, would call out Goldberg. We have not heard the reasoning why Scott Steiner did this, but if you ask me, it's got something to do with their days in WCW. Scott Steiner clearly hasn't forgotten about it. He was a big part of the NWO back in WCW, and Goldberg was a big part of taking down the NWO. But it would be after weeks of silence, Goldberg would make his return on the last episode of Raw before this pay-per-view, costing Scott Steiner his no disqualification match against Rhino and now here we are as we await Scott Steiner's opponent It is always an eerie feeling when you see that man right there, Goldberg, walking from his locker room, surrounded by security, straight through the pyro to make his way to the ring. There is nobody quite like Goldberg. His undefeated streak in WCW is unmatched, and he looks to start the streak back up. Here tonight at Bad Blood, can he make it 2-0 in victories? since returning to WWE. Can Goldberg return to the streak? Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Steiner and Goldberg, one-on-one -on -one match. There's a bell, this match is underway and these two staring a hole through each other from across the ring. It's a big fight field, battle of the big men. As a Kyle and Neville tie up is a dead tie. Goes in for the second time and again, and Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner taunting Goldberg there. And I'm not sure if that's what you want to do, but Scott Steiner said, you want, you want this match? You want to face me? Let's do this. And Goldberg with a knee right to the abdomen there. And a massive drop kick. Not only is Goldberg one of the most powerful men in the WWE, he's also one of the most agile big men in the WWE with a massive chop there to Steiner. Sends him out to the apron. Scott Steiner may have bit off way more than he could chew here with a guy like Goldberg. It's Goldberg dragging him in the hard way. Jeez. Goldberg not wasting any time to get intense. This is going to be a hard-hitting bout, ladies and gentlemen. You can do not expect there to be moves off the top rope. Do not expect there to be a, a, do not expect this to be a technical battle. This will be a hard-hitting about as Goldberg sends him into the corner. Massive spear into the corner. And if that turnbuckle wasn't there to stop him, I, I feel that Scott Steiner might have been torn in half with a spear like that. Former NFL player, Goldberg is not one to mess with. He brings real power and real strength into this business. And Goldberg now mounting Scott Steiner with those massive shots right to the head. Scott Steiner is in trouble here. But as I said, this is a match that Steiner asked for. Steiner 
with a right hand there and then sends Goldberg to the outside. Scott Steiner feeling confident. He sent him to the outside, but Goldberg is already back up on his feet, back in the ring and a shoulder tackle takes him back down. Scott Steiner, that's a problem that Scott Steiner has. He has all the reason to be confident, but he uses that confidence at the wrong time and it costs him every time power slam by Goldberg. Power slam by Goldberg now into the cover. First cover of the match, hooks the leg. Could it be early? An early victory and Noah kick out at two. Scott Steiner had a massive victory over Jeff Hardy at Backlash in a no disqualification match. Hitting a pile driver from the apron to the floor through a table. But this is not Jeff Hardy, this is Goldberg. And he just tossed him all the way across the ring. Have you ever seen somebody toss Scott Steiner? And now Scott Steiner gets tossed to the outside himself. But Goldberg, he's not going to sit there and taunt. He's not going to waste any time. He goes right to the outside. And that's the difference between Steiner and Goldberg. Goldberg knows how powerful he is. But he also knows ooh, that his, his, his pockets get filled with money with a victory. He is not paid hourly. He gets paid by the win. That's why he went on one of the longest undefeated streaks in WCW in wrestling history. And good God, dropped him face first on the apron. Referee trying to get him back in the ring. This is not a no disqualification match. And Scott Steiner's going to send him, going to get sent back in the ring. As Goldberg looks to keep the pressure on him. And Goldberg now picks him up. And oh my goodness. Massive shot right to the, right to the back. Ooh, kick right to the back of the head there. Scott Steiner is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, he may have bit off more than he could chew. And Goldberg, look at the power. Look at the power of Goldberg. Picks him up off the ground into the running power slam. Into the cover. Hooks the leg and a kick out at two. Scott Steiner, I fear, barely kicked out of that. I feel that match may have been almost over. Scott Steiner is in trouble here in the early going of this matchup as Goldberg now sets him up on the ring. Could be looking for something here, but Scott Steiner firing back, sending Goldberg out to the apron. Goldberg hangs on, massive right hand by Steiner. We'll look at Steiner, look at Steiner, picks him up, and there's the power game of Steiner, dropping him spine first on the apron. And now Scott Steiner, realizing how important this match is, realizing that he has no time to waste, gonna keep the pressure on that small of the back of Goldberg, looking to wear it down to get him set up for that Steiner recliner. If there's anybody that can make Goldberg tap out, I feel like it could be Scott Steiner with that Steiner recliner. And he sends him back in the ring here. And now look at look at Scott Steiner now going after the forehead. Look at the, ooh, massive shots right to the face. Right to the face of Goldberg trying to open him up. And Scott Steiner posing for the crowd. Ooh, posing for all of his freaks. Showing off his peaks and a kick out, not even at the count of one. Scott Steiner has not done nearly enough to put Goldberg down here. Goldberg gets sent into the turnbuckle here. Steiner, what's he looking for here? Turns him around. Steiner drops him face first on the turnbuckle. Scott Steiner came very close to, oh wow, Goldberg just popped up to his feet. Goldberg, just like that, popped right up to his feet as soon as Scott Steiner turned around in a kitchen sink. Just lays out Scott Steiner and Goldberg could be looking to set him up, could be looking to put him away here. Looks for the drop kick, no reverse by Scott Steiner. Here comes Scott Steiner. And look at the power of Steiner picking up Goldberg. Scott Steiner picks him up and drops him face first. And a massive body splash. And Scott Steiner now into the cover. A very confident cover and a kick out at two. A kick out at two by Goldberg. Now Goldberg is starting to feel it here. Starting to feel the effects of this match. But it's still not enough. It was an early two count. Still not enough. But Scott Steiner puts him up on the top rope. We've seen this before. We've seen this before. Scott Steiner. Hurricane Rana off the top rope. Talk about a man with crazy agility. You just saw it right there with Scott Steiner and a kick out at one by Goldberg. It is still not enough. And Goldberg, as he sits there, Scott Steiner can't believe it, but 
Mackey's calling for the end. Could be thinking Steiner screwdriver. Could be thinking of a Steiner screwdriver, but we'll have to see what he does here. He's got Goldberg right where he wants him. He just can't afford to get too confident. He can't afford to get too confident, but that's exactly what he's doing here. He's taunting Goldberg, just put him away. This is your opportunity. Goldberg just shook it off. And Scott Steiner gets reversed. He wasted too much time. He wasted too much time. Ducks the clothesline. Back body drop by Goldberg. Steiner wasted too much time, and now he's gonna pay for it. A spine buster. I'm sure it felt a shockwave. And now Goldberg. Goldberg stalking Scott Steiner for the spear. A spear by Goldberg. And you know what comes next. Scott Steiner is out. He wasted too much time. He was too confident. And now Goldberg is going to make him pay for it. Jackknife. Jackhammer. Three. Just like that, Goldberg is victorious. Wow. Massive victory by Goldberg. And you expect nothing less. Scott Steiner, he looked good for a little while there. But in the end, he bit off way more than he could chew. And now Goldberg is 2-0 since returning to the WWE. What a victory. Wow, what a message from the leader of the Wolfpack, the Icon Sting. That match is still to come, ladies and gentlemen, but now it is time for the Intercontinental Championship match as Kurt Angle makes his way to the ring, flanked by former Team Angle member Shelton Benjamin. Kurt Angle is defending the honor of Shelton Benjamin here tonight, but also gets the massive opportunity of capturing the Intercontinental Championship. Kurt Angle has held that title before and he's been given the opportunity to hold it again and he has vowed that if he wins tonight, Shelton Benjamin will be the first person to get a shot at the championship. Of course, Shelton Benjamin on the Raw is War episode, he was supposed to get a shot at the Intercontinental Championship against Randy Orton, but he was found laid out backstage. And the evidence seems to be pointing to Batista. He was the closest one at the time when Stone Cold found Shelton Benjamin laid out. Batista was standing nearby. And it all seems to be a plan laid out by Evolution to get the Intercontinental Championship. Take it off from the man that's going to main event Bad Blood here tonight with Triple H, Randy Orton. But nevertheless... That's in the past. We got to talk about the present. Batista, the animal, flanked by the nature boy, Ric Flair. 
looks to defend the Intercontinental Championship against possibly his toughest task to date. In a backstage interaction between Ric Flair and Triple H a few weeks ago, Triple H told Ric Flair, do whatever you have to do to ensure that Batista retains the Intercontinental Championship here tonight. He does not feel that Batista is ready for the likes of Kurt Angle. And it's, it's crazy to think that because with the size, power, and agility of Batista, I just don't think he can match the technical prowess that is Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle is a former WWE Champion. He is a former Undisputed Champion. Former Kane of the Rain winner. And he is not one to mess with. Many are calling a victory here tonight for Batista would be the upset of the century. And I would have to agree with that statement. Although he has been very impressive as of late, a victory over an Olympic gold medalist, it might not be in Batista's future here tonight. And I hate to say it, but I hope he doesn't win this match after what he did to Shelton Benjamin. Obviously, it, it is all still speculation. The backstage cameras were tampered with, so General Manager Steve Austin does not know exactly who did it, but all evidence points to Batista and Evolution. They are the only ones to benefit from Shelton Benjamin being taken out right before the main event. Stone Cold is put in a tough spot. And now that brings us here to tonight where Batista is defending the Intercontinental Championship for the first time since he won it on Monday Night Raw. Kurt Angle looks at it here as the referee holds it up high. That's what it's all about. It's for all the marbles here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The Olympic gold medalist versus Evolution's Animal. Here we go. There's the bell. This match is underway as Batista walking out confidently. Says, I'm going to put you down. And here comes Kurt Angle. Comes straight out the gate. Kurt Angle, look at this. Look at the wrestling takedown. And this, that is exactly what I was talking about. The, the fear I have for Batista. Batista's never faced somebody like Kurt Angle before. He's never had somebody take him down like that and immediately start going into the technical side of the match. Batista always been able to outpower outpower his opponents but what do you do when somebody has the strength of Kurt Angle has the agility and the technical prowess and Batista just responds with a massive headbutt there as Batista with the right hands kick to the gut and a massive shot to the back Batista looking to get the advantage here early on if I'm not mistaken this is the first time that these two have met in a WWE reign feel free to correct me if I'm wrong but Batista Look at the power belly to belly suplex to Kurt Angle. Batista is gonna have to try to overpower Kurt Angle and use Ric Flair to his advantage. And Kurt Angle, he just needs to beat Kurt Angle and he can win this match as Batista off the ropes. Massive boot right to the side of the head. And Kurt Angle felt that one. I felt it right here through my monitor. Goodness gracious. Batista now. Ooh. Straight arm clotheslines. He's taking out Kurt Angle here. And then dragging him back up to his feet so he can give him another one. Goodness gracious. The power of Batista. I said the power of Goldberg might is unmatched, but the power of Batista might be unmatched as a suplex takes down Angle. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. And a kick out. You have to wonder who's going to join Bobby Lashley in the Kane of the Rain tournament. Batista with a take down there. And Batista, massive shot right to the back. Right to the small of the back. And Batista is starting to feel the confidence here. But he can't let the confidence do him in. Just like it did Scott Steiner in in the last match. Just like that, Kurt Angle taking advantage of the confidence. Sends him off the ropes. Leapfrog. Power slam to Batista. Just like that, Kurt Angle has taken control back of this match. He's back in the driver's seat. 
Kurt Angle picks him up and drops him down. And, oh, show, oh, goodness, Kurt Angle, left hands, and oh, oh, and this is what I, this is what I was talking about. Ric Flair distracting Kurt Angle, Batista back up to his feet and takes him down to the clothesline. It's exactly what I was worried about. Ric Flair getting involved in this match. Triple H doesn't trust that Batista can get a big victory like this on his own. So he sent Ric Flair in to ensure a victory. And that's what he's trying to do here tonight. But Batista, I feel like Batista's been handling himself pretty well here. And look at the power of Batista. The power of Batista running. Power slam to Kurt Angle. Down into the cover. Hooks the leg to get the victory. Retain the title. And Noah kick out at two. As Shelton Benjamin watches on, he's been fairly patient. Since returning to Monday Night Raw after getting taken out. He's been fairly patient. He's been waiting to go after Evolution because he wants to ensure that it, it was them. He feels as if it was, but there, uh, there still is no evidence to prove it. But there's no evidence to prove otherwise either. And oh, drops him on, on the apron. Batista, that might be enough to slow the animal down. Kurt Angle back up to the apron. Here comes Kurt Angle looking to fly clothesline off the apron. And Batista is still getting up to his feet. Batista still isn't staying down, and Kurt Angle sent a face first into the rain post, and that'll put, him, that'll put him down for a second. That'll cut him down to size. As the referee begins to count, this is not a no disqualification match, so if he wants the victory, he's gotta get him in the ring. But Kurt Angle looking to keep the pressure on. Back suplex on the barricade there is Ric Flair. Not gonna get involved because the referee is watching. Referee's at a count of eight. Kurt Angle top rope, looked like Ric Flair was gonna try and get involved there, but he thought better of it. Batista stumbling back up to his feet. Kurt Angle, look at this, rolling side time from the top rope, takes down Batista into the cover, hooks the leg to win the IC title and a kick out at two. What a match thus far, ladies and gentlemen, back and forth contest, but it's been mostly Kurt Angle. If you ask me, I think he's had more offense than Batista is a belly to belly suplex. And again, again, Ric Flair getting involved. Again, Ric Flair getting involved. Kurt Angle falling for it every time. And a spinning out power bomb by Batista into the cover, hooking the leg to retain the title and a kick out by Kurt Angle. Batista taking advantage of the distraction by Ric Flair. Sent him off the ropes. Spine buster to Kurt Angle. That could do it. That could put him away. Retain the IC title and a kick out at two by Kurt Angle. He stays in the fight. Stays in the fight. But you have to think that this could be coming to a close here soon. If Batista can hit the Batista bomb, but he couldn't. Kurt Angle caught the leg. And now here comes Kurt Angle. Here he comes. And Shelton Benjamin cheering on his former protege, Kurt Angle. It's feeling the fans here tonight. Kurt Angle could be on the road to the Intercontinental Championship if he can capitalize. Kurt Angle looks at Batista, drops underneath. German suplex, and you know what's coming next. He doesn't let go. He goes for a second. And now the trifecta German suplexes. The only person that might do that better than Kurt Angle is Chris Benoit, but Chris Benoit doesn't do this. Kurt Angle top rope, Angle with the moonsault. That picture perfect moonsault, nobody does that better. Into the cover to capture the title and a kick on it too. You have got to be kidding me. Back and forth, Kurt Angle almost had it there. I think he was looking for an angle slam, but Batista, I'm ahead, but that head is coming into, it's, it's, it's coming in handy here. And now Batista with the clotheslines on Angle. Bounces off the ropes, spear by Batista! Spear by Batista to retain the title. Into the cover, hooks the leg. He's got him here, no, he doesn't. You've got to be kidding me, Kurt Angle kicked out again. You have got to be kidding me. Batista could be looking for the Batista bomb. The one move he hasn't hit yet, that's it. No, Kurt Angle caught it, Kurt Angle caught it. Ankle lock, ankle lock is locked in, but the referee says no, 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 he's in the ropes. And now Ric Flair, Ric Flair getting involved again, arguing with the referee. This is you, this is ridiculous, you've got to be kidding me. And Shelton Benjamin, I think Shelton has seen enough. 
Shelton Benjamin has seen enough, and here he comes. Takes Ric Flair off the apron, and Shelton, Shelton, pay dirt! Pay dirt to Ric Flair on the floor. Shelton Benjamin has seen enough. Shelton Benjamin has seen enough, and he is getting Ric Flair the hell out of here. And now, I would have to say that Batista's championship reign is in deep jeopardy because it is finally one on one. No outside interferences. Kurt Angle, Batista staring each other down. Angle and Batista. Shelton is gone. Flair is gone. And these two squaring off in the center of the ring. Matt, right hand by Angle. The second one caught by Batista. Followed up by a headbutt. Batista looks for the right hand of his own. Kurt Angle with a reversal. Kurt Angle now looks for the clothesline. Batista ducks it. Batista looks for the big boot. Kurt Angle ducks it. And Kurt Angle, oh, caught him with the right hand there. Turns him around. Kurt Angle, sleeper hold. Sleeper hold's locked in. Sleeper hold's locked in. And he lays down into it. Making it harder for Batista to break out of it. Batista is fading. Batista's title reign is also fading at the same time. Batista is in danger of passing out, but Batista powers out. Good God almighty, a headbutt. A headbutt there. And Batista now picks up Angle with a bear hug. Batista's got a bear hug locked in on Kurt Angle. And now Kurt Angle is in danger of tapping out or passing out from the pain. Kurt Angle's got to fight. Kurt Angle's got to pry his way. He's got to pry. Ooh. He fought out of it. Kurt Angle fought out of it somehow, some way. And he sends Batista into the corner. Turns him around. This match is back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe that it's not over yet. Kurt Angle bounces him off the turnbuckle. German suplex into the bridging pin. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. To Caps of the Intercontinental Championship and a kick out. And Batista. Batista rolling to the outside of the ring. Probably the best thing he's done all night. And Batista fighting. Shot right to the ribs. Shot right to the ribs. Kick to the gut. What's Batista doing? He's going to hit a Batista bomb on the floor. He's going to hit a Batista bomb on the floor. But no, on the apron. On the apron goes Kurt Angle. You have got to be kidding me. Batista just power bombed Kurt Angle on the apron. That's it. Batista retains. Batista retains. He's just got to get into the cover. Hooks the leg. One, two. He's got it. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. You have got to be kidding me. Kurt Angle won't stay down. And Batista's going to look for the Batista bomb. Batista bomb. He's going to look for it again. But no, Angle stopped it. Angle stopped it. Spins him around. Turns him back around. Angle slam. Angle slam. Cover. Hooks the leg to capture the title. He's got it. No, he doesn't. Kurt Angle can't believe it. These fans can't believe it. I can't believe it. Batista has kicked out again. Oh, my God. What a match this has been. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? There's some interference up on the Titan Tron and the hell is that? That's that's CCT footage. What the hell? Is that from the attack on Shelton? Who the Who the hell is that? What the hell was that? That was clearly footage of the attack on Shelton Benjamin, and I, the, I couldn't see who it was, but it, it looked familiar. The attacker, but Batista is back up to his feet. Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle's in trouble. Batista bomb, Batista bomb, into the cover, hooks the leg. Batista retains. Oh my God. What a victory for Batista, but... And not to take anything away from his victory, but who was that? In the footage, that was dash cam footage from a nearby car. Who was that? But Nevertheless, Batista 
is still your Intercontinental Champion, ladies and gentlemen. But the real question is, who is that in the dash cam footage? And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, the APA battles the New Age Outlaws for the World Tag Team. What? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told there's some commotion backstage. And, oh, wait a minute, what the hell? That's, that's Bobby Roode attacking Billy Gunn in the backstage area. Robert Roode, oh no! Roode DDT to Billy Gunn. And now Road Dog coming up behind him. And Bobby Roode with a, uh, an elbow. And Bobby Roode. Roode DDT to Road Dog. What the hell? Bobby Roode just took out the tag team champions right before we were about to have the tag team championship match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we were supposed to have our tag team championship match up next, but I'm being told that that has been thrown out because both parties have been injured at the hands of beer money. So the women's championship is still to come, but coming up next, it's the battle of the icons, Shawn Michaels versus Sting. Let's take it to Expert Gaming. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for a dream match. I am your special guest host for this one, expert. I'll say thank you to Sheriff Austin for allowing me to call what is sure to be a classic. What is sure to be 
in historic contest. As out first, it is the Heartbreak Kid. It is the show stopper. Some might say the franchise of the WWE, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels had a very, say the least, tipsy turvy last few months. Back at WrestleMania, he defeated AJ Styles to win the United States Championship. Once again, becoming a WWE Grand Slam Champion. But just weeks later, he would end up losing the championship back to Styles inside of a steel cage. But the next night, Shawn Michaels in the draft, coming back to the brand. Some may say he was the face of for a very long time, Monday Night Raw. And since then, he has been in the crosshairs of his opponent tonight. He is the leader of the New World Order. He is the icon. He is the franchise of World Championship Wrestling. He is Sting. Sting back at WrestleMania in his tag team match alongside the Immortal Hulk Hogan against Kevin Nash and Scott Hall betraying the holster, aligning himself with Hall and Nash, turning to the dark side, something we ever thought we would ever see Sting do in his career. After weeks of silence from the Stinger, from the New World Order, the icon emerging back at Backlash. Well, like The Rock was going to give his retirement speech. Sting appearing and laying out the people's champion. And now, Shawn Michaels seems to be next on the list of Sting. Sting claiming that men like The Rock, men like Shawn Michaels responsible for putting WCW out of business all those years ago. But to Sting, it seems not just be about WCW, according to him himself, a few weeks back on Raw. Sting, of course, costing Shawn Michaels magic. It might be Lashley on Monday Night Raw as well. Get inside the mind of HBK, but Michaels may be trying to get inside the mind of the Stinger as well with that crotch chop. And for the first time ever, these two men lock up in the middle of the ring. And it's a clean break. And yet again, near this crowd's actually chanting for Sting, surprisingly. It was a massive right hand, and the Stinger is already feeling it. He's already maybe getting a little hype, but Michaels kicks the missing clear off the lockup. Oh, the blistering knife edge chops by HBK. Our thrums goes Sting, and he gets caught with an elbow to the face. And just like that, the icon is down. Just now Michaels sends Sting into the corner, and yet again, those knife edge chops to the chest. Oh, Sting would have blocked that one. Kick to the midsection there. By the icon, you remember, this is Sting's first match since back at WrestleMania. Another chop by the Stinger there. As now, uh oh, up to the middle rope. We were going to rain down right hands on Michaels, but Sean able to push him off. And oh, gets some separation and nails a massive neck breaker. What a maneuver there by HBK. Now Michaels again with a chop. Oh, and another one. And a third back to back to back chops hands over the top to the outside goes Sting what a massive lariat by Michaels uh oh Sean now up to the top rope lining up the icon massive cross body press to the outside and Sean Michaels is rolling here this may be an early night in the office here for HPK if this keeps up Sting has been nearly a has not been able to get any offense in really on Michael so far in this match. It has been all HBK since the opening bell. Kind of forward by the official. The goal, oh, Michael just bashes Sting's face off of the announcer's table. And outside of the ring, these two men go. This has been maybe 95-5 in favor of Shawn Michaels. Now massive vertical suplex connects. Cover here, hooks the leg of HBK to get the win on Sting, and no, only a one. Sting has tried to find some way to get some offense, and to find some way to get maybe a little bit of a reprieve from the offense of HBK, and Michaels drops the elbow down another point of the head, in the top of the head of Sting. Oh, just 
stomping on the face. We're trying to wipe that, that paint, that iconic paint that Sting desecrated back at WrestleMania with the red and the black, the colors of the NWO. As now Michaels going after the leg, seemingly, of the icon. We're trying to wear him down. And now Sean, look at this. Indian death lock applied here in the center of the ring. My Michaels having Sting to scream out in agony there, working on both legs now, the icon. But oh, big right hand to the midsection. Sting finally gets separation. He's got to use that to his advantage. Big right hand rocks. HPK off the ropes. Big back body drop. Of course, Michaels in the pass with that broken back. Forced him to retire for a number of years. And now Sting, massive knee to the back of the head. And of course, this is not the same Sting that faced men like Ric Flair, Big Van Vader. Back at WCW, this is a different Sting. This is a jaded Sting. This is a more aggressive Sting. A more vicious icon. It's a big body shot there by, the, by Sting and all. Oh, running Bulldog out of the corner. Plants HPK face first into the canvas. Cover, hooks the leg, does the stinger to secure the win, but no, only a one count. You hear this crowd come up when Michaels gets out of that Bulldog at one. Now Sting. Big vertical suplex, maybe a little bit of a receipt there to HBK. And now Sting in firm control of this dream match. Oh, look at the strength of the Stinger. Military press. And again, Michaels dripping back first into the canvas. And now the icon is feeling it, but maybe not for long. Now Michaels, big body shot, flying forearm, and the kip up, here we go. Time to drop, no, Sting caught him though. Elbow to the back of the head. Sends Michael down to one knee, now Sting, oh no. Pile driver, my goodness. Massive pile driver, spikes him, the cover, that could be it. Two, but oh no. Shawn Michaels at two, able to survive somehow, that pile driver. But now Sting, oh, keeping on the attack. Now going after the arm of Michaels. Oh, and drives him back first in the mat as well. I think the back of Sean's head may have bounced off the canvas on that one. Could be a concussion for Michaels. He's now into the corner. Oh, look at this. HBK has been cut. Michaels has been cut wide open on the side of his head. And now Sting sees that. And he is going to compound on that cut. Try to open it even wider. Look at these vicious right hands right to the open wound of the showstopper and this is not good at all for Shawn michaels sting almost like a, a great white shark seeing that blood smelling Shawn michaels blood and he is all and he is on top of that like white on rice and now these two back on the outside Sting in firm control, and now the icon sends HBK face first off of the announcer's table. Again, trying to open up that cut, that that wound above the eyebrow of Shawn Michaels even more. And now, back inside the ring, and Sting, look at this, just mocking, taunting the fans here tonight at Bad Blood. Sting is, is having fun now, HBK, but Shawn Michaels! Back up to his feet, takes Sting off the top rope, and Michael's gonna fly over the top. Massive tope taking out the Stinger. And Shawn Michaels, just like that, may have a chance. May have a fighting chance. And this crowd saying, this is awesome. I agree with them. As now, Michael's on the apron. Maybe calling for something here. Maybe looking to end Sting once and for all. Trying to get back up to see Sting has no idea where he's at after that dive by Michaels. Oh, here comes Michaels. Massive moonsault off the apron. Vintage HBK with that one. Taking out the Stinger. Now back inside the ring. Michaels again up to the top rope. Shawn Michaels. Oh my goodness. Doug Lacking over the side of the head. Of Sting and... Sting is in big trouble, flying forearm, another kip up. This time, Atomic Drop connects, and you know what comes next? Massive scoop slam. And now HPK gonna go right back up to the top rope. 
You know what follows this? Drops the elbow down into the red and black heart of the icon. Hooks the leg to get the win. The dream match, no. At the last possible second, Sting kicks out. And my goodness, what a match this has been with Michaels tuning up the band. They can switch your music. No, Sting sidesteps it. Big clothesline. And another one. And a third. Sends Michaels into the corner. Now Sting looking for the Stinger Splash, and he connects it flush. Stinger Splash nails it to cover. Hooks the leg. Oh, and Shawn Michaels again kicks out. You have got to be kidding me. These two men throwing everything at the other. But neither man will stay down. But this might keep him down. Scorpion Death Drop. No. Elbow by Michaels. Big counter by HPK into the midsection. Oh my goodness! Massive pile driver! Michaels, what a pile driver! Sting could be done! No, oh, and again! You have got to be kidding me! Sting, this time, kicks out at the last possible second. As now, wait a minute. Sean, what is he thinking? Put Sting up on the top rope. What in the world? Oh, Sting with the elbow though. See the blood still pouring out of the, the forehead of HBK. Stay over the top rope. Oh my god! Sting diving off the top rope and he gets caught in midair! Like they near decapitating! Sweet Jim Music! The cover! Whoa, no! What? Sting just got caught out of midair with a switch in music and somehow kicks out. This arena is shaking. My jaw is almost on the floor. I cannot believe this. Sting, Scorpion Death Drop. Scorpion Death Drop out of nowhere to cover. Hooks the leg. Whoa. This, this has to be a, a, a joke, right? At 2.9, Shawn Michaels kicks out of the Scorpion Death Drop. And now Michaels just hammering away on Sting, doing whatever he can to try to put the icon away. These two men have thrown nearly all their best shots at the other one, and neither will stay down for a count of three. Now, oh God, up to the top rope again. These two men go. Michaels, avalanche, hurricane runner. My goodness. Sting bouncing off the canvas. And now Michaels going to tune up the band again. It's the second time the charm. Switch your music. No. Sting ducked it. Takes him down. Double leg by Sting. He's got it. Yes, he does. The Scorpion death lock. Sting with Scorpion death lock applied. Shawn Michaels has felt the pain of a very similar maneuver in the past. That broken back of Michaels has to be screaming in agony right now. But oh no, HBK, he caught the leg, trips the leg of the icon. Now, take down of his own, and now Michaels can transition into a figure four. Figure four leg lock perfectly applied in the middle of the ring. Sting has nowhere to go. Sting can't crawl, but he can return the pressure back to Michaels. And that forces HBK to let go of the figure four. These two men trading submissions. Of course, Sting knows all about the figure four. Final driver for a second time, my goodness. A second pile driver by Sting, but Michaels rolls to the outside under the bottom rope. And that may have just saved Shawn Michaels here in this match. Uh oh, Sting falls from the outside and HBK caught him. Sends him face first into the ring post. And oh no, oh no. Shawn Michaels, we've seen these two use the table throughout this contest. And now Shawn Michaels, maybe they're gonna get a little crazy. HBK removing 
the covering, removing the monitors off of the announcer's table at ringside. And oh my God, Sean, come on, don't do this. Think about this, Sean. This is how desperate he has become to defeat Sting, to end Sting. Michael's up to the top. Oh my God, don't do this. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That. Oh my God, that's Scott Hall. That's Scott Hall. Scott Hall is here at Bad Blood. And I agree with this crowd. Scott Hall is seemingly protecting Sting. These two, these two go way back. These two go back nearly a decade. Wait a minute, what the hell? Out of the crowd. That's Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash assaulting Shawn Michaels. Assaulting a man who was once the very, his very best friend. And now Nash jackknife power bomb to Michaels. The referee has thrown this match out. Shawn Michaels has defeated Sting by disqualification. But I don't think the New World Order give a damn. Outsider's Edge by Scott Hall. Once the click have now seemingly been disintegrated. Hall and Nash assaulting Michaels and all no. Sting, don't do this. Oh my God. The same maneuver he delivered to Hulk Hogan back at WrestleMania, the tombstone pile driver to Shawn Michaels. Now look at this, oh, come on. Just dumps him out of the ring like a, like a piece of garbage. Now, now this is getting hard to watch, folks, come on. Hall and Nash have just ruined what was a, a, a classic, folks. A match of the year contender, and you have got to be kidding me. These three, the NWO, aren't done with Shawn Michaels. Now, come on. Come on, come on. This isn't necessary. This isn't right. Kevin Nash, oh my God. Nash, choke slamming Shawn Michaels through the announcer's table. And the New World Order leave HBK in a heap here at Bad Blood. Absolutely sickening. First, Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. Then The Rock at Backlash. Now tonight at Bad Blood, HBK Shawn Michaels. What a joke. Someone needs to stop the NWO. Wow, what an interaction that we just witnessed there between Goldberg and Bobby Lashley, ladies and gentlemen. Goldberg wants to get added into the King of the Ring tournament. Will that take place? We're going to have to find out, but it is now time for the Women's Championship Gauntlet match as Mickey James makes her way to the ring. This woman right here has been on a roll as of late. Two pinfall victories over a former Women's Champion, Trish Stratus. A pinfall victory over Gail Kim. A pinfall victory over former women's champion Jacqueline as well. 
Mickey James has been on an absolute tear as of late, and now she gets the opportunity of a lifetime. But I have to say, I think she may have made a big mistake taking this first match here in this women's championship gauntlet match, ladies and gentlemen. Let me explain the rules to you real quick. It's going to be two singles matches back to back. The winner of this match will be the women's champion, but they immediately, immediately have to defend it to a former women's champion in Gail Kim. So they're starting off that second match. Whoever wins this one starts off that second match at an immediate disadvantage. And Mickey James, although winning the match against Gil Kim that gave her the right to choose whether or not to face China first or last, she has chosen to face China first because she wants to prove to herself and the whole world and everybody in the locker room that she is a real contender for the women's championship. I respect her courage, I respect her bravery, but you're facing the ninth wonder of the world. And if she can get through her, she's then gotta face a former women's champion, Gil Kim, who, needless to say, has been in a foul mood since losing that championship to China at Judgment Day. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, women's championship on the line, first of two matches, China, could be handing that over for very for the very last time because it is for all the marbles that's what it's all about ladies and gentlemen women's championship is on the line first matchup is underway as mickey james and china go face to face mickey james firing on all cylinders here as you can see she still has those ribs taped up from that attack by trish stratus just a couple weeks ago trish stratus injuring Mickey James and and challenging her to put her women's championship opportunity on the line of course Trish Stratus was unsuccessful in, in that which is why Mickey James is still in this matchup and Mickey James not wasting any time and this is the side of Mickey James that we need to see if she wants to capture that women's title here tonight an aggressive side of Mickey James the Mickey James that's not going to waste any time she was brought into the WWE to essentially be an errand girl for Trish Stratus and Trish Stratus, the moment that Mickey James was not doing what she had asked her to do, was not being as successful as she had asked her to be, kicked her to the curb. And since then, that's been the best thing that's ever happened to this woman, but that may be the worst thing that ever happened to her, getting dropped on that injured back and ribs. Ooh, China knocks her down, but ever since getting turned on by Trish Stratus, Mickey James has been on an absolute tear. And those ribs have to be getting torn apart here tonight as China just kicked her right in the ribs. China now, what's she looking for here? Nope, Mickey James fighting back here, fighting from the ground up, a slap across the face, and that's not something that you necessarily want to do to not the wonder of the world. But Mickey James isn't afraid of anybody, and a kick right to the head. Mickey James has China reeling here in the early going. That's been a problem with China and Gil Kim. Neither one of them, ooh! They were both underestimating Mickey James. They didn't feel like she was a real contender for the women's title. And she's proven right here tonight and in the past few weeks that she is indeed a contender, a worthy contender for the women's championship. This is another senton off the apron. Mickey James is firing off on all cylinders, but China won't stay down. She won't stay down. And Mickey James! A third senton, this time from the top rope to the floor. She's got China right where she wants her here. Referee kind of two. She's got to get China back in the rain if she wants to win the women's title here tonight. Mickey James top rope. China back up to her feet. Kind of dazed and a crossbody into the cover. First cover of the match. Hooks the leg to capture the women's title and a kick out at one. The power that China possesses. It's gonna be something that is tough to overcome for Mickey James here. And let's not forget, earlier tonight we saw China and Beth Phoenix talking backstage. I don't know what that was about, but I have a feeling that we might find out at some point tonight. We, we do understand that China, oh goodness, China and Beth Phoenix, they have a mutual understanding. Oh. Goodness, a shoulder tackle there to Mickey James. Both are very dominant women here. 
Beth Phoenix, of course, will be facing Lita at Vengeance in a number one contendership match. The winner faces the winner of tonight's women's title gauntlet match at King of the Ring. And, oh my God! China just whipped her across the ring by her head and now sending her off the ropes and a massive power slam there into the cover. Hooks the leg. That could be do it with those injured ribs. One, two, to retain the title. No, kick out. And China, China looks, she looks shocked at the fact that Mickey James was able to kick out of that offense. Oh, and a neck breaker there. Mickey James is in trouble. Whips her. Head first into the rain mat and a nice right forearm there. Mickey James is in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. China stalking her here. And now China looking to put in the power. Looking to show off her power game. Gonna toss her up over her shoulders. No, wait, Mickey. Mickey rolled through. Mickey could steal the women's title here. One, two, does she have her? Oh no, China barely. China barely kicked out of that one. That was a close call for China. Oh my goodness, a spinning back kick by Mickey James. China's out, China's out, that's it. Ref's ass is in the way, move. Oh, and a kick out at two with China. China did not expect that kind of offense for Mickey James and a slap across the face. Mickey James sends off the ropes, wait, no. China caught her, China caught her. I think Mickey James was looking for a hurricane run, but China caught her man air and dropped her face first into the turnbuckle. Mickey's in trouble, Mickey is in trouble. China sends her into the corner. You know what's coming next. Handstand back elbow. That could be it. China could be looking to put her away into the cover. Hooks the leg to retain the title. No, a kick out at two. Mickey James stays in the fight. She's not willing to quit here tonight. Showing her grit and determination. China looks like she's stalking her, looking for the pedigree. Oh, she caught the leg. Mickey caught the leg. And now here comes Mickey James. Mickey James is feeling it here. These fans are getting behind Mickey James. Mickey James calling her up to her feet. Calling her up to her feet. A check kick. The finishing maneuver from her former protege, Trish Stratus, into the cover. Hooks the leg to capture the women's title. No, a kick out at two. China kicked out. Mickey can't believe it. Mickey can't believe it, and I can't either. Mickey James now stalking China here. What's she looking for? Could be looking for, yes she is. Mickey looking for the Mickey DDT. Oh no, China. China with those shots to the rib. Mickey couldn't hang on, and now here comes China with a clothesline. Ducks Mickey James clothesline, and a back body drop to Mickey James. Her back, her ribs have to be, oh, writhing in pain here. China has Mickey right where she wants her now. Mickey's in trouble. Mickey's in trouble. Kick to the gut. Pop up. China bomb to Mickey James. That's it. China retains. China retains. Cover. Hooks the leg. No, she doesn't. Mickey kicked out. Mickey kicked out, and China can't believe it. And she is screaming at China, saying, Why don't you stay down? China is screaming at Mickey James. Now could be looking for that avalanche pedigree, but no. Mickey fought out of it. Mickey James, second rope. Tornado Mickey DDT. Tornado Mickey DDT. The move that she beat Trish Stratus with, and a kick out. A kick out by China. Mickey can't believe it. That I thought that was it right there. I thought that was curtains. Mickey looking for another Mickey DDT. Kick to the gut. China is in trouble, but China again fighting. And pops her up. Oh my God, China just popped her up from a standstill. Pedigree, pedigree, cover. Hooks the leg. China retains. Oh my God, what a match that was. Mickey James put up a hell of a fight. But China is able to retain, and what a sweet moment here. China acknowledging the effort by Mickey James. That was an incredible matchup. But now Mickey James has to go back. She's got to go to the back because it is now time for the second match. And here comes the former women's champion. 
East fans are less happy to see her. I know Voss is happy to see her. This is your moment, Voss. Can Gail Kim recapture the women's championship? China looks ready. Mickey James has made her way to the backstage area. And, oh, wait, wait a minute, what the hell? That's Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus came in through the crowd. What the hell is this about? Gail Kim is still making her way to the ring. China just realizing that Trish and Trish dragging her to the outside of the ring. What the hell is this all about? What the hell is this? Trish, check, kick, check, kick. Mickey James is nowhere to be seen. She went to the back. Trish Stratus is lying in wait. What the hell is this about? China getting attacked by Trish Stratus. And now Trish, oh, a shot to the skull with that women's title. But the match hasn't started yet because both competitors are not in the ring. And now Trish Stratus sending China into the ring. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. And it appears that Trish Stratus has aligned herself with Gail Kim. Are you kidding me? And the bell, this match is underway. Trish Stratus is staying at ringside in the corner of Gail Kim. And no, not like this. Not like this, no way. No way. Yes! China kicked out. China kicked out. And Gail Kim can't believe it. China's back to her feet. Gail Kim, wait, no, eight to feet. Eight to feet. This is over. New women's champion. You've got to be kidding me. No! No! China kicked out again. It's gonna take more than that to put down the ninth wonder of the world. Gail Kim should know this already. Gail Kim can't believe it. It appears that China, or I'm sorry, it appears that Gail Kim and Trish Stratus have an understanding. And Gail Kim now taking it to China. Taking it to China here. And Gail Kim now, middle rope, massive leg drop. You have got to be kidding me. I cannot believe what we have witnessed, ladies and gentlemen. First, a fantastic matchup between China and Mickey James, hard hitting, back and forth. And then this, ooh. And then this, this alignment between China and Gil, or between Trish Stratus and Gil Kim is Gil Kim goes into the cover and a kick out of two. China won't quit. Gil Kim can't believe it. I can't believe it. These fans can't believe it. And Trish watches on. I, I wanted to say that, that China was my odds on favorite and winning this gauntlet match, but Gil Kim is aligned with a former women's champion. Now suicide dive. A suicide dive from Gil Kim. A forearm right to the face. Gil Kim has China right where she wants her here. China's down on the outside of the ring. Gil Kim's gotta get her back in the ring if she wants to capture the women's title. But Gil Kim, take nothing away from Gil Kim. She has a talented individual crossbody to the floor from the top rope, taking out the women's champion once again. Take nothing away from Gail Kim, but her, her actions as of late have been nothing short of despicable. Ever since she lost that women's championship to China, she has become, oh, insufferable. And after the drop kick into the cover, hooks the leg to catch the women's title and a kick out again by China. China is not gonna quit like that. She will not give up. She's the ninth wonder of the world for a reason. And she has proven that here tonight. And now Gail Kim. What is Gail Kim looking for here? Oh, China fighting back here. Fighting from the ground up. And here comes China. Massive clothesline there. Massive clothesline by China. And follows it up with a second one. China trying to get a little bit of offense in. Trying to get back into this contest. And now she picks up Gail Kim. The power of China face first into the canvas goes Gail Kim into the into the canvas and fouls it up with an elbow into the cover could that do it no kick out at two a kick out at two Gail Kim is still in the fight 
China finally getting some offense here in this matchup. It's been pretty tough going for China thus far, but looking to get back into the contest here. And, oh, an elbow there by Gil Kim. And now Gil Kim sprained board and a forearm shot off the sprain board. China's down, China's down. And another sprain board off the bottom rope into a reverse senton. And China rolling to the outside of the ring. Gil Kim, top rope. Gil Kim, what's she going for here? Cross body. A body splash from the top rope to China, who is laying on the floor. And you can tell that Gail Kim is still at 100% here in this match, or else she would have had the wind knocked clean out of her off that body splash. And now top rope again. China is in big trouble. Cross body a no. China moved out the way, but Trish Stratus, oh, come on. Come on, get Trish out of here. Kick her out, she's not supposed to be here. Trish Stratus distracting Gil, di distracting China and Gil Kim taking advantage. You have got to be kidding me. Now Gil Kim off the distraction. Neck breaker, that signature neck breaker. And into the cover, hooks the leg to capture the women's championship and no. China kicked out, Gil Kim. Can't believe it, and she is getting incredibly frustrated. China is back to her feet, and a kick right to the gut, and China won't go down. China stays, but she won't quit. China is trying to get back into this contest in a clothesline. And now China, back body drop. We saw this earlier, spine buster to Gail Kim. And again, come on, referee, get her out of here. Get her out of here. She's got no business being a part of this match. Now, Gil Kim, no. Gil Kim's gonna steal it. Gil Kim's gonna steal the women's title. No, 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 we all a kick out by China. China kicking out. China kicking out. And Gail Kim picks her up. Air raid crash. Air raid crash. No, not like this. Cover, hooks the leg to capture the women's title. And a kick out again. A kick out again. China won't stay down. China won't stay down. And Gail Kim looking for the eat defeat. I think Gail Kim was looking for the eat defeat, but China, China fighting out. China fighting out of it. China fighting out of it. China sends Gail Kim into the corner. And now China, oh no. Gail Kim pulled the referee in, in the way. She pulled the referee in the way and Gail Kim has got a steel chair. The referee is down. Oh, wait a minute, through the crowd, Beth Phoenix. I guess that's what China was talking to her about. Beth Phoenix making the save, getting Trish Stratus the hell out of here. The referee won't do it. Beth Phoenix sure as hell will. Beth Phoenix is attacking Trish Stratus. And China is checking on the referee. Turn around, China. She's got a steel chair, China. Look out, China. Gail Kim, steel chair. No, China caught it. China caught it. China, kick to the gut. Wait a minute. Pop up, China bomb on the steel chair. Holy <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. A pop up bomb on the steel chair. And now China, kick to the gut. Again, on the steel chair pedigree. Gail Kim brought it into the match. And China used it against her. Gail Kim made the mistake, and China made her pay for it. And China now, top rope, we saw this before. This is how China won the Women's Championship at Judgment Day. Top rope, avalanche, pedigree to Gail Kim. Into the cover, hooks the leg, one, two, China retains the women's championship. Oh my God, what a match. China has done it. China is still your women's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match that we just witnessed. China is still on top. Today marks the beginning of a new era.
You see, in this industry, just like in life, everything evolves. And what you see in this ring before you is the greatest example of evolution you will ever see. But evolution always continues, and you have to look to the future. And I look to you, Randy Orton. The business is in his blood. The man has every gift that a man can be given. You are looking at greatness when you see Randy Orton. Raw genetic talent. Randy Orton is one in a million. Randy Orton is the coal that will be squeezed into the next diamond. my mentor turned on me in a fit of jealous rage. Triple H ruined my life. So I made a vow to ruin his. I had to take everything away from Triple H that he cared about. Randy Orton made a choice, and the beating was a consequence of the decisions that you made. Do you know why this unit exists? Because I made it so. My thought, my heart, my sweat, my blood made this what it is today. You chose this path. You chose this destiny. Triple H, you need to remember exactly who you are dealing with. And that's the thing, Hunter. You always stood front and center. Evolution wasn't about us. Evolution was about us protecting you. you into this world and I will take you out of this world. Evolution is about me. Because I made it! Do you understand that? Me! I made it! It's about me because it's mine! It is mine! And you want to talk about protection? Huh? You want to talk about protection? The only reason you are standing on that stage in this business, it's because of the guys in this ring. Well, I did something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I made my own decision. I'm the man that's going to carry this company. And I made you, and I will break you. This right here has been a long time coming. This is personal. Well, ladies and 
and gentlemen, it is now that time. It is time for the main event of the evening, the match that is over a year in the making. It is time for Hell in a Cell. Randy Orton makes his way to the rain here tonight. To close out the show, I wanted to thank you all so much for your continued support on this series. I wanted to thank you all so much for your patience with this series, and I wanted to thank you for tuning in to Bad Blood. I hope you have enjoyed the show thus far, but we are not done just yet, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the much anticipated main event of the evening. Randy Orton steps inside Hell in a Cell for the first time. Randy Orton's been waiting for a very long time to get his hands on Triple H. And he gets that opportunity here tonight. He has taken everyone out in Evolution except the man that exiled him from the group. Well, what feels like a long time ago now. But tonight, he has a chance to get the ultimate revenge. His main goal since returning to WWE since he was injured by Seth Rollins who replaced him in Evolution and was also exiled during the draft. His main goal has been to dismantle Evolution piece by piece. And tonight, it's the final piece of the puzzle. He's got a loaded gun with one bullet and it's got one name on it, and it's that man right there, the game, Triple H. Not only wearing the Evolution shirt, but you also can hear the theme music in the background, which is what this has all been about. Over a year ago, Triple H exiled Randy Orton from Evolution because he was not having the success that Triple H expected him to have, turning his back on Orton. And Randy Orton made a vow to ruin his life ever since. Many have tried to take out Orton. The man that replaced him and took his Intercontinental Championship, Seth Rollins tried. Batista tried. Ric Flair tried. And Orton just keeps coming. So Triple H now is taking care of it himself. Randy Orton feels that Triple H has only used Evolution to stay at the top of the WWE. And Randy Orton made the decision to challenge the throne. He wants a seat at the throne. But as long as Triple H is there, Randy Orton can't have it. So here tonight, Randy Orton looks to take the throne from the game. But he is stepping into unfamiliar territory. Triple H has been in this match before. He's done this dance before. As we get set, main event, ladies and gentlemen, Triple H and Randy Orton, hell in a cell. This match is underway. Randy Orton staring down the game here. Triple H trying to intimidate him, but Randy Orton, he's not gonna be intimidated here tonight. He's been waiting for this for a long time, and here we go. These two about to lock horns in the center of the ring, face to face, hell in a cell. Here we go. Triple H with the right hand, and another. Triple H looks for the third, but Randy Orton shot to the ribs. Right hand, another, a third, Orton now. Sends him off the ropes, drops underneath. Randy Orton, leapfrog over the top, and the picture perfect drop kick. That raw, natural talent of Randy Orton coming into full effect here. And oh, a massive knee right to the face. Randy Orton can't afford to get too confident here in this match. Triple H has been here before, Randy Orton has not. 
Triple H retired Mick Foley inside that very structure. And that tonight, Randy Orton's gonna fight for his life. He's gonna have to play ga the game better than the game himself as Ran Triple H now. Feeling all types of confident. And who can blame him? He's been here before. And Randy Orton teeing off on him. Triple H wasted too much time. And a snap suplex. Snap suplex to Triple H. And a massive clothesline in the corner. Now stomping a mud hole in the game. Randy Orton again getting overly confident. And Triple H is already back to his feet, but Orton didn't pay attention in a right hand. And Orton fires back. Randy Orton sent him off the ropes. What's he looking for here? Big back body drop to Triple H. And now Orton is wrenching, ripping at the face and eyes of Triple H. Orton sent him to the apron. Triple H holds on. What's Orton looking for here? No. Right hand by the game. A right hand by the game and a clothesline to follow it up. Triple H just floored Orton with that clothesline and again. And now Triple H has him up in a suplex and look at the power of Triple H. He's gonna add a little bit of insult to injury on this one. Triple H one-handed stalling suplex to Randy Orton. Good God almighty. What a way to close out the show, ladies and gentlemen. This match has not even, it has barely gotten started here. As Triple H now with the lefts. A massive shot right to the gut. Triple H gonna look to stay on or in here. Massive knee. Of course, Evolution not at ringside. Batista is still recovering from that Intercontinental Championship defense against Kurt Angle earlier in the night. And oh, a swinging neckbreaker there by Orton takes down the game. Not that it would do Evolution any good to be at ringside as Randy Orton, Luthes Press in the fist, come raining down. And Randy Orton sends him off the ropes. Randy Orton, power slam to Triple H. Into the cover, the first cover of the match, hooks the leg to put him away here, a kick out at two. An early two count there for Randy Orton. It's not enough, and I'm sure Randy Orton knows that. He knows what Triple H is capable of. But Triple H seems to be underestimating what Randy Orton is capable of. He doesn't believe that Randy Orton is man enough to take the spotlight from him. And Triple H sends him out to the Hell in a Cell, sends him right into the steel structure. And now Randy Orton has to come to terms with the fact that he's inside one of the most dangerous matches in all of WWE with one of the most dangerous men in WWE. Sending him face first into the steel cage. And a headbutt to follow it up. And I, I may be wrong here, I can't tell, but it looks like Orton, Orton may have been busted open after going face first into that steel cage. I think Orton might might be bleeding from his nose. And he is, yeah, you can see it a little bit right there. Orton is bleeding from his nose, ladies and gentlemen. Orton has been busted open within the first 10 minutes of this matchup. And that's including entrance time. And Randy Orton and Triple H, they both have very long entrances. And now Triple H going to keep the pressure on Steel Chair. Steel Chair to the face of Orton as he was trying to get up to his feet. Triple H is going to punish Orton here. Another steel chair. Going to try to open that wound even more. Randy Orton just trying to crawl away. Trying to get back up to his feet. But Triple H staying on top of him with the steel chair. And another shot. Good God almighty. Wrapping that steel chair all around the body of Orton. And then a shot to the leg. And that steel chair has been contorted on the body the head and the legs and limbs of Orton as Triple H into the cover and a kick out of two. As I said, this match hasn't even gotten started, ladies and gentlemen, and Orton has already been busted open at the hands of Triple H and at the hands of that steel cage. 
Orton is in massive trouble here. Triple H has him right where he wants him, and this is what I feared going into this match. Randy Orton has been waiting a long time for this, but Triple H has done this dance before. He's done this dance with the most dangerous player in the game. Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, he retired him in this very match. And Randy Orton has never experienced something like this before. Orton trying to get his arms up, but it wasn't enough. Triple H into the cover now again, hooks the leg to put him away early and a kick out of two. And now Triple H, what's he looking for here? Randy Orton fires back with a shot, fighting from the ground up into the clothesline. Looks for a second one, looking to get back into this contest, but Triple H ducked it, and Triple H, Triple H, double A spine buster to Orton. A double A spine buster into the cover, hooks the leg, that's it, no it's not it. Randy Orton kicked out at two, and Triple H, Triple H can't believe it. Just fired one of his best shots at Orton, and Orton is back on his feet now, and he just countered the pedigree. Shot to the foot, shot to the face, and a back body drop to the game. Back body drop to the game. Triple H is in trouble here. Randy Orton trying to get back into this contest. Back body drop once again, and a shot right to the back of the neck. Double axe handle to the back of the neck, and he follows it up with that clothesline. Randy Orton is starting to feel it here. He is starting to gain a little bit of momentum. He's gotta keep it. He's gotta keep it. Wrench is at the face again of Triple H. I think he's trying to bust him open here. And Triple H wisely rolling to the outside of the ring. Or maybe not because that steel structure is unforgiving and it is just waiting to be used. As Randy Orton grabs Triple H and he sends a face first into the hell in a cell. Good God almighty. And a second time. Orton Getting some payback, not letting up on the game. And a, ooh, left hand, left hand right to Triple H. And now Orton sends him into the steel steps. Good God almighty. Randy Orton getting a little bit of payback here, using that steel cage to his advantage. Triple H gets caught with an uppercut. And now Orton sending him back inside the ring. And now Orton, now Orton's looking for a weapon. And now Orton has grabbed the steel chair. The very weapon that was used on him. He now looks to use on Triple H. He says, anything you could do, I could do better. And he's, go! Steel chair shot right to the head. Steel chair shot right to the head. And Triple H is down. He's down, but he's stirring. And he's back to his feet, and Orton, not go! Oh, another shot. Another unprotected headshot with that steel chair. The game is paused. Oh my goodness. The game is having some trouble. Randy Orton, another shot. Randy Orton is determined to bust open Triple H here. He says, you want you busted me open. I'm gonna bust you open in a shot to the back of the head. Good God almighty. Good God almighty. Into the cover, hooks the leg. And a kick out by the game of two. Triple H barely kicking out of that one. And Orton gonna keep the pressure on. Those shots right to the back of the head of Triple H. And now Orton gonna follow it up. Massive knee. Triple H is now in trouble and Randy Orton again going back after the face, trying to rip at the face and forehead of Triple H. And now Randy Orton picks him up. What's he looking for here? Wait a minute, backbreaker. That signature backbreaker from Randy Orton. Did that put him away into the cover? Hooks the leg and a kick out at two. Randy Orton did not look shocked by that. Although that was one of his best moves that he threw at him. He also understands 
that he is up against his toughest challenge yet. He is up against the game. He is up against the cerebral assassin. He is up against his former mentor, Triple H. Randy Orton is determined to take Triple H off from his throne. He is determined to take his spot at the top of the WWE. And Triple H rolling to the outside of the ring again, trying to create some separation here between himself and Orton. And now Orton just stalking Triple H, waiting for him to get back up to his feet, waiting for him to fall right into the clutches of a clothesline again. A clothesline by Orton, taking him back down. Orton is in the driver's seat here. He just tosses Triple H. Just toss him. And then another clothesline. Randy Orton. Where is he going now? Looking for another weapon. Oh, it's Triple H's favorite. The sledgehammer has been brought into the mix. And Orton going to grab Triple H. But Triple H, oh my God. Triple H was lying in wait. Just sent Orton spine first into that steel cage. And now Triple H again. Again sent him into the cage. And a third time. And a right hand to God Almighty Triple H. Hammering away here at Randy Orton. Good God Almighty. You're not too careful. Orton's going to go right through that. Triple H is determined to send him face first through the steel cage. Reluctantly, remorsefully, rolling trip, uh, Randy Orton inside the ring. But I don't think that was that. I don't think that was to show mercy because Triple H now has that sledgehammer, the most dangerous weapon in his arsenal. And Orton, Orton got out of the way. Orton got out of the way. And now here comes Orton. Double clothesline, duck Triple H, power slam. A power slam to Triple H. Triple H is in trouble. He wasted too much time trying to use that sledgehammer and Randy Orton took advantage. Sent him to the outside, sent him to the apron. A right hand, what's he looking for here? Snap DDT, the spike DDT. Into the cover, hooks the leg, one, two. He's got him, no, a kick out of two. Triple H stays in the fight. Orton's gonna have to do more than that. And now Orton again, ripping at the face. And an atomic drop to Triple H. Where the hell is Orton going now? Orton looking for another weapon. And this time, he's got the tables. Orton has got a table. This can only mean bad things are in mind for the former world heavyweight champion. But Triple H with the sledgehammer. Triple H with the sledgehammer. Again, lying in wait. Lying in wait and another shot. Another shot with the sledgehammer. Orton is in massive trouble now. Triple H has the best weapon in his arsenal. His favorite toy. And Orton is feeling every bit of those sledgehammer shots. Triple H is gonna make damn sure of it. And now Triple H, what the hell is Triple H doing here? Triple H, wait a minute, wait a minute. Suplex through the table! Suplex through the table goes Orton! Randy Orton goes through the table. Wisely rolls to the outside of the rain. I don't know if that was on purpose or accident, but he rolled to the outside. Orton, Triple H, Sends him back in the rain to finish the job. Triple H is going to send him back in the rain to finish the job. Wait a minute, Orton! RKO! RKO! Triple H has been busted open! RKO! Cover! That's it! That's it! No, that's not it! Triple H kicked out. He got busted open off that RKO. But he still kicked out. He still kicked out, and Triple H with a shot to the gut. Triple H now looking to get back into the contest. Somehow Triple H is still able to, to stand up after an RKO like that. And a massive knee right to the skull. The open wound of Randy Orton. 
Triple H is measuring his man for another double A spine buster. And Triple H now, Triple H now picks him up. Gonna look to put the final nail in the coffin. Triple H, pedigree to Orton. Pedigree to Orton, that's it. This match is over. This match is over. One, two, no! Orton kicked out. Orton won't stay down. And Triple H can't believe it. He's shocked, he doesn't know what to do. So he just sends him to the outside. Triple H has no idea what to do with Randy Orton. He refuses to quit and Orton fighting back. Orton's fighting back now. Who the hell would have thought Orton could take a pedigree and get back up on his feet and keep fighting. Orton is showing us something here tonight. Triple H set into the steel cage. Now Orton, look at this, wait a minute. What is this? Suplex to the cage! Suplex through the cage! You have got to be kidding me! And wait a minute! Ric Flair! We saw him earlier tonight getting taken out by Shelton Benjamin. What is it? Ric Flair trying to make the save for Triple H? And Randy Orton sees this. And Orton's climbing to the top of the hell in a cell. What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Ric Flair's gonna join him up top. Flair's gonna join him up top. You've gotta be kidding me. These two are on top of this, the, the hell of a cell. That 20 foot structure and Ric Flair realizing now what kind of danger he is in. But it looks like Orton was hesitating and Ric Flair didn't hesitate. Low blow. Orton hesitated. Ric Flair took advantage. And Ric Flair takes out Orton. You've got to be kidding me. Evolution getting the fall, but Orton, Orton fighting back, Orton fighting back, RKO, RKO on the Hell in a Cell. Orton takes out Flair, Orton takes out Flair. Batista still nowhere to be found. He is still getting examined by medical staff resting after his match with Kurt Angle. Ric Flair trying to get involved, and that is what happens. And Orton, wait a minute, Triple H, Triple H is on top of the cell, Triple H on top of the cell, pedigree, oh my god. Holy sh Triple H pedigreed Orton all the way through the cell. Orton's done. Orton's out. And Triple H gonna take his time because he knows he's got the time. Oh, wait a minute, what the hell? Through the crowd! Oh my god! That's Seth Rollins! The man that Triple H exiled from Evolution during the draft, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is here at Bad Blood. You've got to be kidding me. Seth Rollins is taking out Triple H. When asked what his thoughts were on being exiled from Evolution, Seth Rollins didn't have a comment. And now we know why. Now we know why he was plotting, waiting for his moment. Seth Rollins has Triple H on top of the announce table. Oh my God, pedigree through the table. Seth Rollins gets payback on Triple H. Rollins and Orton have done battle numerous times, but now they find out the enemy of my enemy is my friend here tonight. Rollins takes out Triple H. Orton is back on his feet. There's no one here to protect Triple H. Triple H got what was coming to him here tonight. Triple H tried to control the throne. Triple H exiled two of the bright young talent on Evolution. And now Triple H is suffering the effects of what happens when you take out two of the best in the WWE and Randy Orton. 
not done with Triple H. How is he even standing? Triple H is out cold. And Randy Orton, table set up, center of the ring. Wait a minute, wait a minute, no, no, no. RKO through the table. RKO through the table. That is it. Cover, hooks the leg. Orton is victorious. What a match that we just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen. One for the ages. So many big moments in this match. And it would come down to the interference by that man right there. Seth Rollins getting payback on Triple H for exiling him out of evolution. And because of that, Randy Orton has dethroned the game. Randy Orton has taken out Evolution. Thank you all so much for tuning into Bad Blood. We'll see you all for Friday Night Smackdown. And congratulations to the new number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship.